everybody. Happy Aloha Friday. If you're new here, I'm Misty and I do uh, food showcases around the island of Oahu, mostly at mom and pop stores. Today is at the edge of Waikiki on Kalakaua Avenue. It is done and it specializes in Japanese foods, um, donboris and things like that. If you see here, I'm gonna flip it. This is their parking lot. Over here though is reserved for Waikiki Realty, but I guess you can park there. Um, and that's very rare in Waikiki to have parking at a restaurant. So um, let's go inside. This is uh, their sign for their parking. And you enter through here, and that's Kalakaua in the area of Koheka, where Don Quixote is. So very close over here. We went over here to the Frog House, which is the Korean restaurant I did with uh, Brada Tats. Over there is Joy Noodles Mean, which I will check out soon. Um, Overjoyed on Oahu did it. And go check out their channel. They go all over the place and shop as well. So this is Done. Um, looks like their weekly special is deep fried shrimp, oysters, and aji bento, Ooh, which is a mackerel. This is their menu. So they have bento lunches, grilled mackerel, salmon, salmon ikura, don, which I'm interested in. And they also do different takeouts for dinner. Here's some of the pictures. So let's go inside. Hello. So this is their pre-made bentos. They have salmon collar, ahi katsu, nishime, simmered pumpkin. They even have dessert, sesame dumplings, and beef tofu bowls. As you can see, you can't park in the Waikiki Realty area, but you can park anywhere else. So if you're curious, that's their business hours, Tuesday through Saturdays, closed Sunday and Mondays and holidays. Lunch is 11 a.m. to 1.30 and dinner is 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. A lot of people came through and they seemed to call it in, so I didn't, but it wasn't too bad. Fast service, so let's go check it out and eat. All right, so back in the car to eat. There's no place to dine in over there. And with each dish that you get for lunch, and dinner. You also get a small thing of miso soup. So for all the meals I got, I got two different dishes to show you. You get some miso soup, so let's try it out. So you don't get any spoons, so I'm gonna take a sip. Mm, nice and hot, typical miso soup, tastes great. Really nice. And I like the little details that she did. She put a little piece of cut cardboard here with the miso and then she tied it up so it won't spill. Very nice of her. So let's try out the first dish. It's gonna be the salmon ikura, which is pretty much sashimi salmon with some salmon roe. Looks beautiful. Quite small of a portion, but I think it's perfect for me, but some people that are big eaters might not like the price point, but it is fresh sashimi, so you can't go wrong. Comes with a beautiful salad, a bunch of Japanese sides, looks like some green beans and some um, pickles. Just such a beautiful presentation and the care that they put into making this takeout look beautiful. All right, so let's dig in. It's got um, some pickled ginger here and some wasabi. Let's taste it plain first. Fresh fish definitely just melts in your mouth. Great taste. The rice is sushi rice, so it's got a great balance of the vinegar, not too sour, but just enough. Really good. Let's mix some soy sauce. She gives you some kikoman soy sauce with the wasabi. So it's pretty much sushi without the nori, and it's just easy to eat if you're on the go. Super yummy. So fresh and delicious with the soy sauce and the wasabi. Can't go wrong. Let's take a taste of the ikura. This is pretty much the salmon roe. It's like salty boba that just pops in your mouth. So good. The interesting thing is a lot of elderly Japanese people were coming through and they pre-ordered. And right when I got into the car, another person came through and they all spoke Japanese with a lady inside. And so, you know, it's pretty legit when the local Japanese community comes here to eat. And um, the lady inside, super nice. She let me film and um, very good service, very polite and nice. 
if you can see too, I mean, it looks like a small portion. I'm almost done with it, but it's so good. The freshness really makes up for it. The thick slices that she makes of the sashimi of the salmon is worth it because it's not really thin. It's pretty good and, you know, a good portion of it. She also gives you a piece of shiso leaf, which is kind of like a minty type of herby leaf if you've never had it. It's in uh, Japanese cuisine. Take a taste of that with the rice. Almost like a perilla leaf that's in Korean cuisine, but much different. It's more minty, but it's a good palate cleanser. All right, let's try the sides. Looks like there's some takwon, which is like pickled daikon. Nice and crunchy, goes really well with the rice. And this plate is so pretty. Um, here's some green beans. All the sides are cold, but it's made that way. It looks like the beans have mashed up sesame seeds on it. It's got a savory flavor, nothing different, but it's got a nuttiness from that sesame seed. Really delicious. So there were some green beans and this is okra. Interesting, I like okra, some people don't because it's got some slimy stuff, but I like it. And it's got that same mashed up sesame seeds on there, it's really nice. I don't know what this is, it looks like mashed up tofu and veggie, but let's try it out. It's got some um, carrots, some greens in there, and looks like some shiitake mushroom. Never seen it before, but let's try it out. That, to be honest, is not my thing. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Kind of tastes like peanut butter. Very interesting. Maybe it's got the mashed up sesame seeds in there too, but not my thing, to be honest. And then we got some, looks like some carrots and cognac in there, cognac noodles. It's got a piece of chili pepper in there too, which is interesting. Usually you don't see spice in Japanese food, but there's that ring of chili and there's another one there too. Not bad. It's got some gobo in there, which I like, which is a burdock root. And um, it's got a natural sweetness to that. So it kind of melds with the other savoriness of it. Pretty good. And I like the texture and the crunch of it. But these daikon pickles are super yummy. Okay, let's try the salad. Typical salad, looks like some spring greens, two cucumbers and a piece of cherry tomato. A nice side, it's got kewpie sesame dressing it tastes like on it, so it's yummy. Good dressing, fresh veggies, can't go wrong. This bento is awesome. If you're wondering how much the salmon and ikura bento is, it is $14.50, quite expensive, but it is sushi quality salmon, thick cuts of it with the delicious ikura on the side, the salmon eggs, and the sushi rice was really yummy. I enjoyed everything on there and their creative little side dishes. It is wonderful. So go get it if you're into salmon and you're looking for something fresh to eat and healthy. This is the place to go to. All right, for our next dish, it is the katsu don. And I asked her what it was, whether it's chicken katsu or pork tonkatsu. She said it's tonkatsu, so it's pork. And um, they do have a regular version of tonkatsu bentos, but this one has egg on it and it's got a little bit of sauce and some onions in there. So let's give it a try. Again, the presentation has so much care put into it. Very beautiful. It's got the beautiful nori on it, shredded pieces of seaweed, and it's plated so nicely. It smells delicious. I usually don't get this, but I figured why not try it? Again, there's a bed of rice underneath. You can pick brown rice for that. There's, there's no sushi rice underneath, it's just regular rice big, nice cuts of katsu. Mm. It's interesting because it's fried like pork tonkatsu or chicken katsu. When you put the sauce on it like they do, it kind of makes it mushy, but it's actually nice. Um, that sauce is, you know, the typical sweet soy marinade that Japanese food has, very nice. And it kind of soaks into the panko and it's got the egg on top just a little bit of egg. Super yummy. If you're looking for um, a different type of tonkatsu, this is it. And the sauce is not too overpoweringly sweet. It's really good. And the egg kind of gives it a little bit more depth and um, will satisfy your hunger as well. Big piece of rice. 
The rice is cooked perfect, really good, not too mushy, not overcooked, and not undercooked. It's like the perfect Japanese type of rice. But um, this is pretty much the other part of it. It's got the egg mixed with that soy sauce and then the onions. Mmm. I'm sure you could hear the crunch of the onion and I kind of like semi-raw onions. Sort of cooked, but you know, where it's not too strong of an onion, but it's got a nice texture to it. That's really good with the egg. And the rice just soaks up the excess soy marinade that they soak the katsu in. So good. And it just gives that rice a very good flavor. And like the other plate, every dish for lunch has the other sides that I already previously showed you. The fresh side salad, the uh, tofu uh, side, the daikon, and the okra and the green beans. So great meal. That was very flavorful. I liked it. It's just got enough flavor, but it's just still got a gentleness to it. I don't know how to explain it. It's just very pure and delicious Japanese food. Um, unfortunately, like I said, you can't dine in. And even before COVID, I think um, those tables are so small, there probably is room for three tables, very tiny place. It's quaint, it's cute. The service is amazing. Uh, just very polite, awesome service. So their website says that they make traditional Japanese style dishes, mainly from Kyushu in the south side of Japan. So it was very interesting to try this type of Japanese cuisine. And it, especially if you're looking for different kinds of Japanese cuisine that's not sushi, this is the place to come to. It's very delicious, it's fresh. It's not heavy food, but it fills you up still, if you know what I mean. Um, just great, simple types of tastes, but it's so satisfying. So if you're wondering how much that katsudan bowl was, it is $12, and that's not bad. It was a lot of food. Um, if you're looking for a little bit more substance and you're on a budget, I think this one would fill you up more than the salmon ikura or any of the seafood dishes. Of course, seafood is more expensive. But if you're looking for different other things, they have grilled mac mackerel bentos. That's $12. That's pretty much a good deal. Uh, you know, they have hamachi collar for uh, dinner time. They have eel bento. Um, unagi. They have um, a fried chicken bento too, Japanese fried chicken. So um, very different types of bentos for all different ranges of tastes. So if you don't like seafood, they have other things too. So definitely try out done. It is awesome food right outside of Waikiki and tons of parking. So if you like this video, press the like button and subscribe if you're new and check out my other videos around the island of Oahu to give you ideas on new places to eat because there's tons of places that are amazing to eat on the island. So until next time, I'll see you on another food adventure. Take care of yourselves. Have a great weekend and peace out.